You might be familiar with the Downtown San Diego Partnership as we know it today, the membership organization where regional perspectives help drive the vision for our urban center, the voice for downtown advocacy and economic development, the critical public service working to make downtown cleaner, safer, and more beautiful, and a partner of our downtown communities through fun and exciting projects. But what you might not know about are the deep roots that tie the downtown partnership to our urban neighborhoods, dating back to the 1950s. The original organizations that formed the downtown partnership were the Central City Association and San Diegans, Inc. They both were formed in about the 1950s, and that was during the time when everybody was rushing out to the suburbs, and downtown was just a ghost town. The San Diego Downtown Association, later the Central City Association, was formed in 1952 and was focused on the economic recovery of downtown through the promotion of retail sales. Central City Association's primary role was more at the ground level, the merchant level. They focused on livability. They focused on creating opportunities for retail to thrive downtown. And San Diegans, Inc., created in 1959, was focused on promoting the development, growth, and long-term horizon of Center City. San Diegans, Inc. was really more of a high-powered business owners, landowners, and they pretty much focused on the political side of things, looking to come up with new policies, and was very instrumental in creating CCDC, the Redevelopment Agency for Downtown. That by itself became the impetus for the renaissance of what created downtown as we know it today. While their areas of focus were different, they were united by a common thread, a vision for what a successful downtown could be. These two organizations merged in 1993. And it was amazing. Peter Q. Davis was head of San Diegans, Inc., and our own Perry Dealey was head of CCA at the time. And these organizations had worked well together in the past, but I think they both figured that together they could be a better group and a voice for downtown. From those conversations and community action grew the Downtown San Diego Partnership. For the Downtown San Diego Partnership, it's a really great to have that connection to our history as a downtown and to the people and places and events that have really informed the Downtown San Diego ethos and what makes us unique as San Diego. Part neighborhood organization and part business association, the Downtown Partnership has remained true to its roots in its modern day mission of advancing the economic prosperity and cultural vitality of downtown San Diego. So you can see that in the merger of those two organizations and what has become the Downtown San Diego Partnership and our emphasis on a thriving residential community, highly amenitized with retail, arts and culture, with the things that really make a downtown special. So what exactly does 30 years of impact from that mission look like? More than 20 years of providing enhanced services in 275 blocks of downtown through the formation of the Clean and Safe program, or approximately 46 million pounds of trash collected, enough to fill nine football fields up to their goalposts. It also looks like the evolution of our downtown skyline, including more than 1 million square feet of office space, another 1 million square feet plus of retail, and more than 32,000 housing units, and even more on the horizon. It looks like reconnecting more than 3,000 people experiencing homelessness with their support systems through our unhoused care team's successful family reunification program. Not to mention murals, the launch of the Downtown Innovation Center, policy progress, a new clean and safe app, and some of the city's most anticipated annual events. Downtown has transformed over the past 30 years and it's even going to transform more in the next 30 years. We've seen the convention center expand. I would be remiss to not mention UCSD coming downtown and that trolley line that connected La Jolla to downtown, that was a long time in coming and I think that it's going to continue to bring just a lot more folks, diverse populations of people downtown where we can really just activate downtown and make it a fun place to live, to go to school, to work just more of that in the future. We are honored to have served as the voice of downtown during eras of such positive, groundbreaking change and are looking forward to being part of the next chapter in that growth. 
I spent my fair share of days working at City Hall and uh, to see Civic Center Plaza that was you know, opened a few decades ago as a really gathering place for people downtown. We've been talking about that for a long time, but it looks like this revitalization of Civic Center Plaza is gonna stick. So whether that is the ballpark and the library in East Village or IQHQ and the campus at Horton, which we're seeing come up from the ground now, or some of the projects along Broadway that are just breaking ground, the next 30 years is bright for downtown San Diego, and we're just getting started. That story of impact doesn't end here. Downtown continues to change and evolve, and so will the downtown partnership. We look forward to what the next 30 years will bring for the downtown partnership and our urban neighborhoods. There is so much potential for downtown, and downtown is already such a great place. But when I look at the projects that are coming in and the opportunities for our community, you know, at US Bank, we're all about powering the potential of our clients and each other. And I love that we're able to do that side by side with the downtown partnership and really power the potential of downtown. U.S. Bank is excited to be part of the downtown of the future. And what will that future look like? A new hub of job growth and economic activity? A thriving residential population? A place to enjoy nature in the heart of the city? Plenty of reasons to walk, visit, and enjoy. And seeing downtown come to life as the heart of civic pride for our city. Working together, we know we can create the future in downtown San Diego. My name is Freddy Silva. I'm the owner of Bespoke Hair. I'm most excited about all the new development coming into San Diego and what the tourists is going to bring us. Hi, I'm Kennedy with Donut Bar Downtown San Diego. I'm super excited about the future of downtown because I love the San Diego Padres and I love how the spirit just brings everyone together and it's a great time to be down here. I'm Rashad Abdul-Majid of Davy Architecture and what I'm excited about in downtown San Diego is the resurgence of community and partnerships with the individuals that love, live, and cherish San Diego and its future. Hello, my name is Sandra Milton, principal of SR Pro Consultants. I'm excited and feel privileged to be a part of San Diego's great future and definitely happy to be a part of it. How's it going, guys? My name is Daniel Colea. We're here at Slappy's Garage in downtown San Diego. And one thing that I'm looking forward to in the future is to have everybody come together and just keep it a little bit cleaner, you know? We can all work together to keep it a little bit cleaner, keep the streets safe, you know, so that everybody feels safe in this environment, you know? And just the camaraderie that all of the future events is gonna bring, it's gonna be beautiful. Hi guys, my name is Ed. And my name is Hudson. And we're here at uh, Logan Market on 16 and K Liquor Store. Uh, in the new future, we'd like to see new development of food establishments. Uh, we'd like to see uh, soul food restaurants. Uh, more activities such as live entertainment uh, from bands uh, that are trying to get a name out for themselves. And uh, that's, it. that's it. One word to describe the future of downtown, I think it would be transformative. Sweet is provocative. Architecture. Design. Vibrant. Promising. Beautiful. The future of downtown San Diego is brilliant. The future of downtown starts now. All we need is you.